Hey, it's Mel here. Um, I thought I'd do a post um, on up close and personal um, in regards with mental health and my mental health journey. Um, I thought it might maybe relate to other people. I've not been having the best of weeks um, and like today I'm much better in myself. Um, I think it helps sometimes to just put your makeup on and go out and do the school run and not um, dwell on things. Um, sometimes we don't actually know why and that's probably been my problem this week. I've not realised why I've been feeling so rubbish. Um, sometimes I think it's actually to do with the weather outside. It's not, you know, been tremendously brilliant at all. It's been raining, it's been snowing, been having a mixture of everything. Um, and I think also with me is because of like I've had appointments for my daughter and my little boy and that was a worry like with whether there's any changes in his heart condition in the sense of would he need an operation soon but the reality of that was he is doing really well and we've got another four months to another appointment so that possibly may not need to worry about that so you know it might be that he may not need it until he's like 10, 20 even. So it's just one of those things that I think we just have to wait. Um, unfortunately, he isn't very well at the moment and he's uh, laying on me kind of half asleep and awake. Um, he's got a virus. I think the kids just bring home everything and anything. And uh, now he's caught it. Um, but yeah, so... <sighs> I just wanted to kind of do this video in the sense of if anyone's feeling the way I've been feeling, um, you're not alone, I must admit. Um, I think we all need to kind of, it's hard to try and snap out of it, don't get me wrong, it's really really hard and to be honest when you don't know why you're feeling that way either, um, it's even harder. I think I kind of started to realise, you know, in back in my head that maybe there's a lot of things that have caused it, like just feeling overwhelmed by going to the hospitals and, you know, having pending kind of diagnoses, possibly waiting in the background, um, worrying about whether he'll need to have an operation. Um, and I think obviously some of that's been, you know, alleviated as such uh, for now. Um, but yeah, right. I mean, my birthday was the weekend, and you know, I wasn't actually quite myself. I, I felt so anxious before I went out on um on Saturday night. I, you know, go getting up, uh, getting going out like out out, um, and getting dressed up was actually quite hard for me, and I don't know why. Um, I was getting really anxious and just getting ready and flustered and once I was out I was fine I think it was just the whole getting ready and that's really weird I don't know why um but I did enjoy myself it was nice it was nice to be Mel rather than a mum for the night um because it's very rare that us mums actually do enjoy and go out and become ourselves rather than just known as you know mum mummy um and I think that helps everyone I think we all need it you know regarding even our partners need to have a bit of their time because you as parents it is quite stressful especially with what we've been going through in the sense of um like with Charlie's um heart condition with my daughter's of you know pending diagnosis possibly or just I don't know there's so much going on with her um see so yeah, how I think I think we all need a bit of TLC I think sometimes when we don't always get it it's really hard and I think it it does upset us um and I think that's probably how I've been feeling really just wanted a little bit more TLC um maybe that's kind of been a little while I'm feeling the way I've been feeling um worries about kids um I don't think to be honest when do we not worry about our children 
Um, we all worry about our children, regardless of whether you've got any like medical concerns. I think we just worry anyway because we're parents. And I think when you become a parent, I think that's where kind of a lot of the anxiety stems from. Um, you've you're not thinking about yourself anymore. You're thinking about like these other little people. Um, but yeah, I just thought you know if people kind of understood a little bit more of something lurks in the background you know and sometimes I think by speaking about it it does help like today I put on makeup this morning I'd done the school run um and actually just being outside even though it started to rain on the way back um did me a little bit of good getting the fresh air um I mean you know just even going for a walk helps talking about about it to your friend or partner of how you're feeling really does help I just thought you know by doing this maybe someone might you know think hang on a minute I'm feeling that way maybe I can you know take some note and and do that myself and see if I feel better um and if you're not I must admit you really need to see someone um like a GP um or speak to your health visitor because like for me i i have been on medication for quite some time now um on and off um and it does help it really really does um but we still have a blip now and again this one's uh, wiggling around on me um but yeah i thought you know up close and personal true description of what it is like to have postnatal depression and anxiety you can sometimes feel like you you don't even know why you you you're suffering the way you are um why why are you feeling the way you are like what's set off because sometimes you don't realize and then i think i just kind of th took like took a bit of time and, and thought about it and and realized ooh, and realized that hang on a minute I, I think I know what's causing it. I think it's just a load of things. And, you know, I need to think on the brighter side of life. Yeah, that's my poorly little man. Um, I need to think on the brighter side of life. I need to realise that, to be grateful for what we do have. Um, you know, there's so many people out there that don't, you know, don't have, you know, a, a roof over their head and things like that. I think we need to be thankful um for what we do have and i need to be you know i need to just think i'm gonna be okay the kid's gonna be okay if we need to come to like something with charlie and he needs things you know we'll just come to them when they come um but yeah i hope i want you know if someone thinks actually you know, that sounds like me. Don't be alone. Really don't. Oh, poorly little man. Um, because it doesn't do you any good. It really doesn't. Just speaking to someone about it. Um, doing what I'm doing. Maybe. But I thought I'd, I'd better go now anyway. Before I do this. Take care. Bye.